Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. And Booze Community Kitchen is getting some new flooring. And I've, I've made a video already. I thought I'd make another one to show you live the second part of her floor going down. And we are live at Booze Community Kitchen. It's quite a sunshiny, bright day. If you look up to the sky, you can see it's quite a lovely, fresh day here in uh, Jaywick. And our good friend Adrian from the, the Brighton Sea Happy Club has come here very early the next day after Happy Club and uh, he has come to lay a new flooring. So I've come here to film it for all of the viewers to show them how we teamwork each other and to make things like this happen. So live from Booze Community Kitchen is Danny Sloggett, The Vision, to show you how we fit new flooring in Booze Community Kitchen. There it is. Shine on everybody, I hope you're enjoying the vision because it's pretty early, but we're making things happen. We can see Boo and Adrian. Hi, Dan. Hello. You didn't realise I was in here, did I, you? I did, that's why I decided to go, look, we're live. <laughs> I know we are. And I want the viewers to see what's happening live as it happens. It. You must be well impressed, Boo. Yeah, I'll be up and running on Monday. Look, officially open. Officially open at seven o'clock Monday. Seven o'clock in the morning? Yeah. Wonderful. And oh. all of my fans can see that as it happens. And Adrian's on it, new floor. Yeah. Hello, Stafford. So, ladies Hello. and gentlemen, Booze Community Kitchen is opening officially yes, on Monday. Door, Pardon? Monday the 30th. Okay, lovely. And what do you need, what oh, can okay, you tell all the customers? What do you mean? What can I tell them? Nothing no, unless they come along and see it. So what? Yeah. I mean, what times do they come and see oh, you? They come in at seven o'clock till no, four o'clock Monday <laughs> till Friday. Yep. Nine till four. Yep. Saturday Get and late, Sunday. Bye. Lovely. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the opening time. Yeah. I've even got an outside toilet for. Oh, me. can you show us, please? What our outside toilet? Yes, please. Look at that. We have an outside toilet. Wow. <laughs> wow, that's great. You've really worked hard, haven't you? Uh, so, yeah, and you've got an outside barbecue as well? Yeah, we've got that built. Lovely. Got the furniture. Yeah. The outside back garden, as I call it. So we're hoping this will be jam-packed throughout the year? Yeah, now. Supporting Jowick, as Jowick supports you, as you support Jowick. That's it. <clears throat> The TV show is 24-7, isn't it, Boo? Yeah. It is for the people that live here. That's it. It is for us. That's it. I was going to film Asia and doing the final finishing touches because we've got 32 live viewers right now watching as it happens. Shine on. Adrian, what have you got to say to 32 people watching you do this right now? Get on it. Yeah, and, and you obviously... <laughs> Can you believe this man was at the Brighton Sea Happy Club last night and now he's in Jaywick? I've got to take him to my house yet. 60 years old this year, 44 years laying floors. He's 60 years old and 44 years laying floors, flying aeroplanes and going all around the world. And I'm just going to sit here and watch you, Adrian. This is as it happens, ladies and gentlemen. This is as it happens. Don't tread on the edges, boo. Is great. They're loving this. 33 viewers are loving this. 33. Have you ever had 33 people watch you do this, Adrian? Um, no, you've got 37 now. <laughs> so there's 37 people watching Adrian lay Boo's new floor. Boo, <laughs> this is great publicity. Here we go. Oh uh, dear. Yeah. Looks lovely, Adrian. Yeah, it's just under these seats. We can't do too much because the seats are all fixed in the floor. Yeah. Ideally, they wanted to come out, but we can't. But you've done what you can. Yeah. What you can. And all these edges are sealed. sealed yeah. It looks like it's the original floor, doesn't it? That's it. Yeah. <coughs> it looks really nice. We can't do. That's a big gap under there. I'd like to seal that right up, but there's a bit of air to stop the water. Yeah. There we go. All right, mate. All right. What's the edge? Because we've got a wet seal oh, yeah. right on the edge. We've got a seal on the edge. If you want to come in, come in the back room. Right, isn't it? What do you think of Boo's new floor? It's alright, nice, yeah. There's no pressure, we're only live. 
<laughs> Have you brushed your teeth? I can see. Yeah. <laughs> Only joking. You're right, Dean. You're yeah, right. It's progress, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming together. All right, boo. We'll get in that. We'll get in that back kitchen now. All right, babe. We'll rip up that old bit of vinyl, mm -hmm. and we'll we'll see what we can do with this. All right, thank you. Um, it's been stuck down. Or yeah, I've, 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 no, that's okay. We can rip that all up. We'll rip that up, Danny. We, we're just going to rip it up. I'm being cameraman, so I ain't got to do much, apart from aim the camera in the right direction. I mean, Boo is getting a new floor for the community kitchen. It's a very, very, very important day. So all you elf and safety people, you can get your elves in your gnomes, because we are doing what we should do in our own homes. They can do one. They can bloody do one, Adrian. That's exactly right. The other knife, our knife is no good. La, la, la. Yeah, you'd be able to watch this tonight, Adrian, and think, yeah, it's good good vision. Trust me, Danny, Friday night I won't be watching no videos. No? What's yeah. what, why? It's Friday Club. <laughs> oh, you, got, you got a Friday Club as well? Uh, we always we always have a drink on a Friday and Saturday night. You guys are bloody living the dream, aren't you? Yeah, you have to, long time dead. So what days do you not have a club? Well, my doctor told me <laughs> to drink plenty. <laughs> His doctor told him to drink plenty. <laughs> so we've been trying to do as they say. Yeah. Is he putting kickboards on here? Let's go wrong. La 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 la. Yeah. Rib it out. Rib it out. Adrian's on it. First we've got a rat. <laughs> <laughs> so what we him? There's a rat in the kitchen, boo. There's a rat in my kitchen, what are we gonna do? What we got here? That's the hole in the floor. There's a rat in my kitchen, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna feast that rat. I <laughs> see they're live last year, they are. They are good. Was that all of them or was this the original three or four? No, that was the Ali, Ali G and <laughs> The original singer. Oh, right, yeah. Campbell. Addie Campbell. Yeah. Because they split up, which is really a shame, isn't that it? That is a shame, because they're a damn good band. They, they are. They, I've they seen them a few times. They still are. They remind me of uh, Madness. UB40 and Madness were my great groups in the 90s. <laughs> OMB is my favourite. Orchestral Manoeuvre. Yeah. 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 Orchestral we are filming Adrian fit a new floor. And if you can tell our viewers, Adrian. Yeah. What do we tell them? Tell them what is what stage you're at and what made you do this and why you're doing it and all that sort of stuff. I didn't want to do it. I hated every minute I've done it since I've done it for 44 years. But yep. My father said, you ain't sitting at home on your ass. And I got thrown into it. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There you are, but it hasn't done me bad. Sometimes we just need a helping hand. Yep, that hasn't done me bad. Well, it's good for you to allow me to film this so all the viewers can see that Boo's getting a new floor. Yep. We'll rip that up. We don't like that. We don't like that. So we'll rip that out. Rip that out. And then we'll give a sweep up. All right, mate. Just watch the edges. There's wet seal. Oh, shit. No, Sorry, you're, no, no, no. I just, right, just went on to autopilot no, there. You're, you're all right. Just, there's just yeah. round the edges. You're all right. Sorry, walking on. No, you're fine. So. I'm clean. <laughs> well, that's what we want. Put in there, We've had continuously 30 viewers watching this floor go down. Yeah, they'll all be going out buying Stanley blades. And Stanley knives and... Doing their own floor. Well, there we go. We'll sweep that in there because that's all being that's being replaced. Lovely. So what we're gonna put in there yet. Um, what are we gonna put in there? Well actually I might have something on the band Danny. I'll tell you what, it's all live on film. If you can make this happen as we film, people see what a magician you are. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Let's get the other bit of vinyl in. <laughs> At my Sunday club, we get a bit of vinyl. Eric Clapton, Pink Floyd. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the wrong bit of Eric Clapton? 
Yeah. 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 Y
Adrian, we're going to be at the Happy Club every week, hopefully. We're there every Thursday. Look how you've done that. That is spectacular. Look at that work. Here goes. Dee 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 dee. They'll put kickboard on there, won't they? It looks great. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we are filming Boo's new floor as Boo's new floor goes in. Someone just messaged Christ, he, he makes that look easy. <laughs> Is she fit? I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> we do have a laugh because we're workmen at work and we do have a little bit of banter. And that is how we get the energy to carry on working. And we do it for love, not for hate. We do it for love. So keep spreading some L-O-V-E, because we don't want to hear about your H-A-T-E. Mwah! Hey, shine on, Pop Gun. We love ya. Shine on. Pop Gun, they're good, aren't they? They are good, aren't they? Yeah. We, we were talking about you last night, Pop Gun. We are talking about you last night, Matt. Because me and Adrian are going to come and see you, aren't we, Adrian? Yeah, I want to see Pop Gun. We want to see Pop Gun, so let us know when you're playing, mate. We'll be there. you got to give a dedication to Danny Sluggett and to Adrian and to all the Jaywick Sands Happy Club and to Booze Community Kitchen. Shine on! <laughs> Look at that. All that was just a knife. Like a bricklayer has a trowel, you have a Stanley knife. Where's my shears, Danny? I don't know where your Billy shears are. Right <laughs> you get the size of them Billy shears. And we'll put a sealer around there as well in a minute. Can you sharpen them yourself, them, them scissors? Um, if I see the pikey's about, they do them for me. All right, lovely. <laughs> if not, I buy a new pair. Once you start sharpening them, they... They've lost their will to live. Yeah. He used to be in the old days, an old boy on a bike. Yeah. Around doing it. He was top man. He was good. Do you remember his name? I can't remember his name, but you're going to tell me, ain't you? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know, but I reckon he was a great guy. A lot of people are about in the 70s knew him. Yeah. People knew him. Where was his patch? All over. He, he, you could be working in Coggleshaw, you could be working in Brighton Sea. One yeah. day he could turn up on that bloody bike. Yeah. And, uh, but by Christ, he knew how to sharpen some shears. He was good. Yeah. You're pretty good because we got it on film. How are you doing this? Look at this. It could be costing me work. Everyone will be doing it themselves. No, no one was gonna, no one's gonna compete with you, are they? You're a professional. You make it. You make it look easy because you're good. People that are not good will just ruin their carpet, and then they'll have to buy another bit. It's cheaper to get you to do it properly in the first place. Floor prep is a lot of the secret. You've got, you've got to have a good floor to start with. Yeah. But we'll take that through there for a minute because we're gonna we're gonna rip that up. And we'll put the bar across there. We'll take all this up, take it all up. Poor old Owen's had to go up to London today and there ain't no trains. Oh, right, what's he got that there for? Because of his officers, or something to do with, because he's passed out as an officer this week. Yeah. They've got some shindig on some ship up there. So, that'll all be up there. Thank you, Jem. We will have a great day. You have a great day too. From the Jaywick Community Kitchen to wherever you all are. Mwah. We are staying here live to show you how Boo's Community Kitchen got her new floor.
right, that's ready for sealing up. Wonderful. Under there, yep. We'll put a metal bar in here. Yep. And then we'll rip this up. We can't leave that like that, can we? No, it'll ruin all this hard work. Yeah, that's a mess. So, we'll hoof that up. Um, Yeah. We'll get that up, Danny. Um, good job we've got a nice day for it, isn't it? It's, yeah, there's no rain or anything. It was meant to be, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. Let's get these up. Do, 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 do. Put all new ones in there for her. They didn't fit anyway, do they? No. <laughs> yeah. Recycle all the old carpets and stuff. No, no, we no. can't do that. I'm afraid. So what do you do with it all? Just put... leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you see, ladies and gentlemen, he is human. <laughs> we was having, we was having a debate. Is he really human? <laughs> we know you're a great man, but you just don't seem to sleep. You just keep, you have more energy than the sun. Adrian, we love you. Mwah. He's a man of his word, truly is. Very hard to find these days. We're definitely last of the old Mohicans. I get in trouble for being a man of my word. I bet you do. I've yeah. gone out for a drink or two. Yeah. And <laughs> I'll have a drink or two. <laughs> do you put like a naught after the one and two to make no, it wait, to no, get home? Yeah, 10 or 20. <laughs> That's when you find out they've got behavioural problems. Yes. <laughs> they, to, they proper come to life. Yeah, they show their true spirits. <laughs> we'll rip that bar out and all. You know what? We don't want that in there, do we? That can all come out, Danny. This thing with caravans, everything is built on top. Yeah. There was no prep work. No. You wait till you see my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I built that. <laughs> Who needs underlay when you've got an old carpet? <laughs> underlay, underlay. Underlay, underlay. Mwah. Would you like to have a look around, ladies and gentlemen? We are at Booze Community Kitchen and take a look. There it is on this great sunny, sunny, sunshiny day. Look at the sun shining through there. Should, should we go for a walk up the road? Yeah, come on, it's Jaywick. Let me give you some vision. We're just going to give Adrian a little rest. Beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful, beautiful day. What a glorious day, ladies and gentlemen, as we are walking along the Costa del Jaywick. And 
Welcome to the Costa del Jaywick. Hello mate, you alright? Making some videos showing Jaywick how great it is. Video. Can I get on the video? Yeah, do you want to say hello? Yeah, what's happening? <laughs> Man like Kirby in the building. My wifey Denny right here. How you doing brother? What's happening? Shine on guys. Shine on. <laughs> Lovely. So can you just say how great Jay Wiki is rather yeah, than all the negative things? Yeah, it's a brilliant things? place, I ain't even going to lie. Exactly. That's why we're here, isn't it? Yeah. Have a great day, guys. Yeah, you too, Sloggy. Shine on, brothers. So as you can see, great community spirit in Jay Wick. You see how we all come together? And look at this, this will last forever. The passion we have. There it goes. Hello, good morning. Good morning. So we're going back to see how Boo's Community Kitchen is doing, how the carpet is going in. And we are live right now. We are live. We are a live and we are live. And let's go and show you how we're doing on this great sunshiny day. It's <laughs> all ready. Sweep up there, Danny. It's all pre preparations. Yeah. La la la. That looks better with that old bit just up off the floor. Yeah, it does. It does it? So there's a new floor, ladies and gentlemen. It's lovely. Little stables they put in there. Yeah. Annoying. I can't even see the damn things. There you go. Sorted. Lovely. Right. Rubbish bag. We're still filming, are we, Danny? Yeah, we're live. I'm but available for party bookings as well. Yeah, brilliant, thank you. I've been live the whole time, I think it's great. 
get that this one in this is a different ball game this one yep So now we're going to go and show you the new, the new, the new, the new surface for the uh, hallway, which I wasn't expecting to be doing, but we are doing it right now. So that'll have to be there, but that's proper anti-slip, so that'll be ideal in that entrance, shouldn't they? And then Disco comes in, he shouldn't go arse over to it. <laughs> this is. I can stand on it, I think. Yeah, you can stand on it, Danny. All I want to do, I'll measure it, see how much off we've got the wrong one. Alright. I've got a little One metre sixty off the roll. Nice. One metre sixty. That's all we need. So we should have plenty in there. Hopefully. Actually, I don't reckon that's worth cutting off. Yeah, we just take the whole bit in there. Yeah. That ain't worth cutting that off. And we'll fight it out in there. Lovely. This is expensive stuff, this is. Yeah. Yeah. That's the stuff they put in wet rooms up the wall and. Yeah. But uh, it's good stuff. No, that's expensive. That's lying on the back of my van and that can go to good use. Excellent. Time of the year, it's um you can you can feel feel it hear it. It's so uh, stiff to work with. There we go. That's good. That's good. Right. <coughs> Off that door. We're all live, Adrian. There's every second. It's something to look back on. It's part of the, it's part of our history. You see. Yeah. I'm not filming my bedroom. Not for anyone. <laughs> That'd be off the map. <laughs> but this is public. Right. Now we're in a position to cut it out. Lovely. So what's the secret to a good life, Adrian? Work hard, play hard. Do whatever you want, when you want. If you want a fried breakfast, have the bloody thing. If you want a pint of beer, have it. But in moderation. There you go. That's if you... why we only do Thursdays, Fridays and Saturdays. So if you want a drink, have a drink. If you want a bacon sandwich, have a bacon sandwich. You only live once, do it. And shine on. You only live once, you might as well enjoy it. Mwah. <laughs> That's right there, isn't it? Bloody rally right. Yeah, I've got to go to my dad's Harley rally on the 11th of uh, February. Because they have a Christmas party at the Harley Club of Great Britain. Oh, right. And they have it like six weeks after Christmas. So, um, that, that falls on the 11th of February. Way for Tony. He's back again on the 3rd of June. Well, I'm going to be there for the 3rd of June, if that's all right. He's good, he is. There's some good groups about, isn't there? There is some good groups about, yeah. I'll tell you what, they, some of the cover bands are better than the originals. Yeah. They can play the instruments better anyway. Uh, but, have a 
probably is. Most, most of my favourite music is Dutch. Yeah. Well, I like a lot of Dutch artists. But, uh... I like the lights in Amsterdam. <laughs> hey, the lights. We like Amsterdam. I've been there about 17 times in my short life. First place I ever went was Amsterdam. I'm on the back of my dad's Harley. I was 20 years old and I was sitting on the back of the Harley all the way from Jaywick to Amsterdam. And we drove from the Hook of Holland all the way to Groningen. Groningen is in North Holland. I've been to Groningen. Groningen? Yep. Yeah, three hours on the train. Yeah, and basically I sat on the Harley all the way from Jaywick to Groningen. Took about 16 hours, slept on the ferry wonderful memories and then when you pull up at the traffic lights in Amsterdam and you just see the way of life it's phenomenal it's like a bomb and a ball Mwah. how you doing sir great work you can get in that kitchen now mate you want it all done in there Shape, Danny. Beautiful. Well, bloody hard, didn't you, mate? You got it with this. Yeah. So it's okay when you've got heat on it. Yeah. With no heat, it's an absolute cow. Yeah. It doesn't mould into anything. No. But you've just got to be a bit assertive with it. It looks very nice, though, doesn't it? Yeah, it will do. Well, that looks damn better than that. Yeah, of course. It's very lucky. Great Donna, I just read your message. It's great flooring what you've got in your room. Boo's got it in her kitchen too. And Graham Farmer, shine on Graham. Shine on, mwah. What a fab memory to have with your dad, Danny. Thank you, Claire. I've got many great memories of my dad. And my dad has is is been in the bike club ever since I was born. He was a leader of the Filthy Few back in 1972. He was the youngest ever person to lead a bike club and he had over a hundred members. They were called the Filthy Few. I don't know if any of you can remember that club, but they created Clacton. They kept all the shit out and kept all the good in. Those were the days, and that was when I was born, back in 1975. That's when people had respect, and my dad taught me to have respect. So if you don't like it, switch off. And if you like it, shine on. Mwah! That's who we are. Shine on! And I'm glad I'm not you. <laughs> we are who we are. And we're grateful that we got morals and respect. Mwah. Uh, I'm sure we said that last night. <laughs> That'll be all right when I get some metal bar over it. Yeah, that'll tie it all in. Yeah. You have to come to one of my dad's highly bloody things, Adrian. Yeah, I got rid of my bike about four years ago. Excellent. It's a Zooty GT750. Oh, you've had a bike as well? Yeah. Aeroplanes, bikes, boats. Yeah. You're, you're a living legend, aren't you? Yeah. The aeroplane. I'm glad that he's adopted me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet it was. That story you told me last night about the turbulence, the turbulence <laughs> and I was thinking about that when I got home. I think what a great experience that must have been, even though it's a nerve-wracking one. We've had some, some good experiences on the, you know, a lot of people be frightened out of their bloody skin, but, yeah. you know, at the end of the day when you're at sea... Thank you, Sean. It's only water. Exactly. <laughs> Treat it with respect. Exactly, because it can overpower you. Oh, it'll bite your ass, all right. Yeah. 
We're going to go out on your boat soon, go to Ipswich through the choppy waters, break up some ice. There ain't no back door with the sea. No? Uh, there's only a front door. <laughs> and you'll only go out the back door once. You'll only go out the back door once. Wise words from a wise man. Thank you, Sean. I love you. I love that you love my live videos. We are doing real things. We don't film fish in fish tanks only occasionally, and they are real anyway. And they're much better than some people that I've seen. But thank you for liking my live video. We are doing it to show people that we do things for each other. We are the community that shines on, and breakfast does shine on. Mwah! We love going to the Wimpy. I love them little potato things that look like chips. They're very nice. My dad calls them scallops, but they're apparently made out of fish. But still, they're very nice. And I can, I, can I have two? That is my wish. Thank you. Oh, yes. Shine on. Remember John H. Stacey, the boxer? Yeah. Done his pub years ago in Norfolk. I went to south of France and done Bernard Matthews' wife, Joyce Matthews. She got a big clock castle in Orpio. Right. In the south of France. That was a nice job. Wow. He done Clint the Largo Golf Club in Portugal. Well, you get about, didn't you? Uh, Could you get any more jobs abroad? Can I come and be a worker with you? Lodge in Ireland. If you get any more jobs abroad, can I come and be a worker? <laughs> <laughs> I'll actually pay you to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Portugal was good. I bet. Got good culture, haven't they? Yeah, well, they done San Miguel there. That was lovely. That was nice. La, 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 la. What are you getting there? I had this on the van, that was meant to be, wasn't it? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Some little bars over there. The worst of the first. Did 
Did he? No, I wrote. I drove my car. He didn't walk. No. <laughs> I was up about, since about half eight, but uh, I was waiting for your message. When you message, I just thought, right, I'll give it half an hour. Yeah. And, and then I filmed non stop, you see? I got here and. Uh... I am the vision of Jaywick. Yeah. Oh, this is important for Jaywick. One bar there, haven't we? I've got one bar there. I've got another one in there. We'll get some spray, some contact spray, and we'll spray that down. I'm sure we've got some in the van. So, as you can see, I am filming Adrian do his good deeds for Jaywick, and he's even given me some in my bedroom as well because he's such a lovely man. And we do, we are going to like this man at the next Jaywick Awards. His good deeds for us, for our community. Asian, they don't make them like you. And thank you for your love, mate. Thank you. What's the Christmas present? Oh, in Jay, we, we just last a bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> you should ask all my ex-girlfriends. <laughs> we last a little bit longer. We do in Jaywick. Christmas goes on a few more months. Birthdays last for the whole month. And we are the Jaywick Sands Happy Club with the Brightland Sea Happy Club as we are doing Booze Community Kitchen. Adrian, what are you doing now? Can you tell us? I've put some contact spray adhesive on the floor so it gets a bite to the floor. Okay. That's... Now to stop it bubbling. Yeah, it's not what I'd normally use, but that's all I've got on the van. But that'll do the job. Okay. Excellent. I could drop the gear, actually. This is good to get high on. I, went, I was going to clean my room, but then I got high. I was going to go to work, but then I met Adrian. <laughs> it's Friday. It's the Friday feeling. We love a good Friday. Will you be seeing Owen tonight? Um, possibly. possibly. Is he here for long? Is he here for much time? He'll be here now until... He's got to wait because he's passed his exams now. I think he has to wait for his papers to come through. Yes. Um, and I think his next, his next ship is the Shackleton. Yeah. To go through the Northwest Passage. So he's going through the Northwest Pass Passage very soon. Last year he done the Antarctic, South Antarctic. And he's going to give. Station. And he's going to give my daughter's CV to his boss, isn't he, Adrian? Yes. I, that's not his boss. That's the captain of the Starbreeze. And he's going to give my daughter's CV to him? Yeah, that's the captain of the Starbreeze, of which Owen had a few months on board. Very, very nice ship. And my daughter's going to hopefully get a job on there and go for nine months at a time. And she can send you a postcard because she will be living real life dreams. And that is what I want for my daughter, to go out in the world and live real life dreams. And through Adrian, this can come true. So shine on we do do, is what you don't do people. Mwah! Shine on! <laughs> you only move forward when doors are open. Yes. Sometimes you don't know what's the other side of that door. Nope. But unless you go through it. Yep, yeah, you're not gonna, your life's just gonna be the same shit yeah. unless you change it. 
But I've always looked at it like that, you know, if I thought, look at the outside of the pub, think, I don't know, but let's go through that door. <laughs> <laughs> I like Adrian's attitude. That's why we're friends, because we shine on to the end and from the beginning. Mwah! Love is forever! New floor, all the way through, new floor, new floor, new floor, new floor, new floor, new floor, new floor. On that, we'll get the bars in. Hey, that's more practical. That'll do. That'll do one, Danny. Wonderful. That'll do one. Um, what do we want, man? We don't need that. We need that. That. Everyone lives in Jaywick time. Everyone shines in Jaywick time. Everyone shines in the Jaywick time. There, that'll look a bit neat, won't it? It's very neat, it's very professional. Can't believe there's no um cafes or nothing now in Jaywick. Nothing. Not even in the summer. There is, there's some getting built uh, opposite, near Dots, up up by the amusements up there. The guy that owns the shop there. Yeah. He's, he's building one opposite, like a cab. And here's Dom. Dom, Dom, Dom. French Dom. Is she alright? Oh, yeah, yeah, she's great. Yeah, I'll see her, I'll see her a couple of days ago. She's fine. Yeah. yeah. That she's... used to be, I used to go the in The best Indian, weren't it? That was a um, Sri Lankan. She, yeah, Sri Lankan. Eastern Spice, and I always, always used to be in there. Yeah. Her uh, husband was a lovely guy, weren't he? Yeah, do you know how I met him? How'd you meet him? I met him in 1981. Wow. And he used to work at the Indian restaurant at the bottom of East Hill. When we used to have our, we used to have Thursday nights at Ipswich School of Flying, where I'd done the flying. Yep. That used to be Ipswich on a Thursday night. And we used to go in the thrash at Ipswich, have a couple of pints, and on the way home we used to go in the... The Indian at the bottom of East Hill, yep. there where he worked, yep. for curry, as you did. Wow, so you, you had like 30, 30, 35 years of knowing the great man. He was a lovely, lovely man. He was, he's a lovely man. Yep. Well, occasionally when I went in his shop and was chatting to him for about half an hour, he would get something off the top shelf. Oh, really? And put it in a little glass for me. <laughs> and I had many, many little tickles with him, if you know what I mean. Yeah, he was a lovely man. We had great conversations about Sri Lanka. I always remember, I said to um, Dom, I said, do you remember the dish I always used to have? Cookal mass, that was called. Yes. Cookal mass, that was a chicken. God, oh, that was something else. But, uh, yes, it's a shame that's not there now. Yeah, it is a shame. She's still doing something in the community, though, shining it on. Oh, yes, yeah. Yes, yeah, she is. Just looks a bit tidier. Yeah, does it just? It's very tidy, very professional. We've got another one of them on board. We'll put one over that. See the bathroom. That's not too bad. That kitchen there ain't too bad. Yeah. Um, we'll it's great. That's, that's the surface she's looking for. She, she's done bloody well. Look, she's got all that and all that and all that. Yeah. 
just need to trim that a bit there because where that's pushing that through. Let's go and get another bar down here and we'll put two bars in there. So we're now going to get another bar from the van. That's lovely because that's, that's exactly where you want to be at there, just a little floor. We can do with a bin line. So we're now just finishing Boo's Community Kitchen. We're just finishing the flooring. We do it because we love each other. Quality there, Danny. Cool, look at that. <laughs> Is that for a king to walk on? <laughs> in the 70s, that was all the in thing. I know, and I am a 70s child, as I yeah. told you. That's why I was attracted to it. <laughs> when Adrian offered me a bit of half of it, I said, I like that one. He goes, I'm sure we can get you a little bit of that, Danny. Adrian, with friends like you, it makes the world a better place. Thank you so much. Great man. This goes work, apparently. Yeah? That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I won't mention 20 quid. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that was to, took, a, took a shine off, didn't you? Uh, I reckon that'll be on his headstone. Don't forget I owe Danny 20 quid. Don't forget I owe Danny 20 quid. I won't forget. I won't bloody forget. Lucky I love you, innit? <laughs> if I didn't love you, I'd be making a song about that. See a helping hand there on the, on the laying out? Yeah, well, I'd normally have, Ryan would have normally been doing this. If you need a hand, let me know. I'll come oh, and... no. I've done it for so long. To be honest, you know, yeah. it don't take a couple of minutes. But that was where it's handy, having Ryan. But I bet it's quality time you're spending with him as well. Yeah, he, poor Ryan, he did. I don't think his heart was in it. No, he, he definitely looks like, he looks train, train driver material, doesn't he? He's got train driver written all over him. He has, he, big time. Yeah, so he must be very proud he's going for something so big. Yeah, I hope he does. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I like Ryan very much. I'm very attracted to his genuine personality. Very genuine guy. You couldn't meet anyone more genuine. Well, all my, all my boys are. Yeah, they are. They are all lovely. I was saying to Danielle on the way home last night, what a great job you've done of being a dad to all your kids. Yeah, he, uh, Lewis is lovely. Your dad must have been a great man, because he's obviously taught you, right? He's still here. Yeah, and uh, you have good memories of your dad when you was growing up? Yeah. Is your dad a similar guy to what you are? Yeah. Uh, he is uh, a similar no, guy. No, he don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> but he's hard working like you. But he's hard working yeah, like yeah. you. Yeah, um, he worked for Telecom. He worked for BT. Yeah. Um, he retired, I think, when he was about 55. Lovely. Um, but no, he still keeps active. But uh, he has the odd chandy or something, but he won't ever see him go. No. He won't. Um, go to the top shelf. No, you won't, you won't see him in the pub or nothing. No, not unless that's a family occasion or, yeah. you know, something like that. Well, you make up for that. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Cool. That's Brighton and Sea. Yeah. The trouble is, Brighton and Sea is like one big holiday camp. Yeah, exactly. Because the trouble is, you know, once once I get home on a Friday, that van goes away. I don't need a vehicle. No. So I never drink and drive. Oh, you live near the, where that harbour place is? Yeah, yeah, in the marina there. Wow. But, uh, You've got yeah, it cushy. Yeah. You, it's what, nice what you make it, and you've made it that way. But we're on the, you know. I love being on, I'd live on a boat. Yeah. Boat. Yeah, me too, I'd love to live on a boat. We've done some nice house boats in the, in the past. There you go. These are Irish screw nails. There you go, look at that, that's tidied up. Look at that, that is a, such a professional job. We'll put one in there just to uh, cover that carpet edge for her. Yep. In there. We'll get house points for that, won't we? Yeah, she sure will. I mean, that's completely... That's completely smartened that up through there, isn't it? Look at it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? All the way through. Pull that. Put that in one of the... Wall.
does Jason and um, what's the name live? They down this end. Who's that, Jason? Jason and who was going to get married and. Oh, the guy you met? No. Was it Jason? The two that uh, he was never going to touch drink again. They all the say that. They haven't got the children with them. I can't think what their name is. JP. JP. I see him the other day walking from Clapton to Jaywick. How is he? He seemed alright, he was walking, he was he looked pretty healthy. Yeah. Don't know what don't know what his situation is, but he looks alright. When I think back in Brighton see how many guys <laughs> Yeah. Lovely, lovely characters that are not here now. Yeah. And uh It's just a shame, isn't it? Yeah. They let drink overpower them. Well there's one, Tom Smith his name was. Yep. Tom Smith. <laughs> Tell you a story about him, Tom Smith, and he used to come flying with me a lot. If ever I was going abroad, yep, and I got a spare seat in the plane, he was there. Well, he used to take the supplies out when he worked for the customs at Brighton Sea. Yeah, he used to take the supplies out to Radio Caroline. Wow, <laughs> so he had a great life. Yeah, because the only trouble was he was taking supplies out there that shouldn't have gone out there, staying, <laughs> staying on Radio Caroline, getting completely bloody hammered, <laughs> <laughs> living the dream. <laughs> They're yeah. my favourite sort of friends. Well, you couldn't help but like old Tom, but he, no. he was... I, I love him. I don't like him. I love him. He was a proper, proper character, he was. Yeah. That's sadly no longer. He was one of them. He'd be sitting in the pub on a Sunday for dinner, and next minute his missus would come through the door, slam it on the bar in front of him, and he'd say, how good is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Alright, <coughs> now letting Danny clear that up, seal that up, and that's done. Lovely. Just, you know, I mean, that ain't a clean and tight job. Lovely job. Lovely flooring. Yeah, old Jim, he was supposed to be coming in the hands. He's laying on the sofa where he landed last night. Right. <laughs> well, shine on, I'm here. But that's one thing, I will always turn up. Yes, you I've said that last had, night. Always, always. And I can honestly say, in the 44 years I've done flooring, I've always, you know, no matter how, how long I've been, <coughs> I've been there. So, I mean, I'm bad in the wine bar. He gets a cold and that's flu, and he's like in bed for three weeks. <laughs> I do that, that means he's got it too easy. Yeah. <laughs> right, that looks tidier. It's lovely. You should be happy with that. We'll seal that up. Yep. We'll clear all this rubbish up first. Hate working in a mess. We'll clear all that up. Danielle's getting all her stuff sorted today. Yeah, she's gone to um, the Culture Institute to pick up all her paperwork, her exam results and stuff. That'd be good to see her on there, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think she, she's in a perfect opportunity now, isn't she? I mean, look, Alan on the Shackleton, he had a lot, a lot of time. Yeah. Where you're... And anything happened to that ship, once that's left Cape Town, that's two weeks down to the ice station. Yeah. Once that ship's left Cape Town... And hits the ice flow, there's nothing, anything no. go wrong with that ship there on their own. It's amazing. And how, yeah. how, how many people do they have on the ship? I think he said there was 40 on there. 40? I think there's a complement of 40. She's actually in Harwich in June. Right? Yeah. Because when she goes on her northwest passage this time, yeah. she's leaving from Harwich. Wow. So, uh, so we're talking about my daughter Danielle, who could be getting a job on an icebreaker that goes all the no, way. No, she's going on the Starbreeze. The Starbreeze. She's going on. A, that's a cruise ship. Right. That, that one is Windstar Cruises. That's the Starbreeze. I only had six months on that one two year ago. Yeah. And his first assignment. Yep. His 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 second week on her was in Monaco, and it was the the Starbreeze was the home to the Ferrari team for the uh, motor. Sport. Wow. So he, he's on there with all the Ferrari drivers and all the so, team. Yeah. So he met some good people. What a lucky guy. 
Yeah. I'd like to come on board with the Ferrari team, wouldn't you, ladies and gentlemen? He sat on here one night when I phoned him and he was having dinner with Rick Astley. I said, I didn't know Rick Astley was a, was a Formula One driver. <laughs> he yeah. said no, he said he's a cabaret for the night. So that was Yeah, that's class. Yeah, they met some people on there, but she get looked after on that. Yeah, good. Just like them sort of ships are one big family. Yeah. You know? so, that would be good. You just got I mean that's obviously not so lonely on a cruise ship. No. On on the Shackleton. And the weather, some of the seas they went through before they got to the ice pack, was horrendous. And they had Peter Gibbs. If you go on to Peter Gibbs, the weatherman, you know, off of the race, Tully? Yeah. There's Peter Gibbs that reads the weather. But on, he went to Cape, he went to the ice station. Then they had to go back to Cape Town in December and pick the BBC crew up, including Peter Gibbs who went down to the ice station to do all the filming. Wow. And there's a Horizon documentary all about the trip to the ice station, and Owen, Owen is actually on that for a couple of seconds. He's at the front of the, sh front of the ship pointing at something. Yeah. But he got some fabulous pictures of killer whales and orcas and seals. But, uh, but the Northwest Passage, you'll see the polar bears. Yeah. There's no polar bears in Antarctica. They're up the Arctic. But um, that was pretty amazing. You've done that before, haven't you, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. I'll take, that, I'll take them ones away. I've got some sealer there. I reckon we want to drop more. We want another sealer, won't we? There we go. Let's take that broom. We'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Shall I carry your toolbox? Yeah, you can do that. So as you can see, Adrian is a lovely man and he is doing Boo's community kitchen for her. And in a few hours, he has made miracles appear. They call him the man from Dan Monty Shines On. Adrian is that man. And he's not wearing his cap today, but he left it at a happy club last night. But I'm sure he'll be there tonight. He'll be there tonight. Don't you worry, ladies and gentlemen. Tornero. Tornero. I'll be back. Great videos. I'll be back. Tornado. They've had hundreds of views them films, hundreds. Hundreds of people come on that boat with us last night, hundreds. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's just in the winter, they're a, they're a sorry sight. Yeah. There's none of, the, none of the cushions or the seats are on there. Yeah. Everything has to come off because it's, because of the damp. But, uh, right, let's seal her up. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just put some sail around, around where the places where water goes. That won't stop 100%, but if it stops, if it stops a good percentage, it's worth doing, isn't it? Exactly that, yes. I save them okay. because sometimes when they get blocked. <laughs> crap some of these. You wouldn't believe how much these alter in quality. Yeah. Them mastics, you know. I need some um, I need to get some uh, white silicone. Where's the best way to get it? I've got some on my van. <laughs> All right. We got white, grey, blue, pink, and everything on here. Okay. I need. Uh, um, where, 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 where do I get a white one from? I got one on the bed. All right. I need it from my kitchen. Yeah, I got one on there. Oh, not a lovely man. I just need to 
I just need to seal up around the worktop to the tiles, that's all. One one line really. Yeah, two of that on there. It's the only thing I ain't done. You just gotta tell her not to um to got watch these edges till that's dry. Yep. We'll get her in. Once you've done this, I'll go and get her and I'll make a film of her seeing it all finished for the first time. remember is on the cushion floor yep not to drag anything so when they get a cooker washing machine or anything put a mat face down yep and gently slide on it don't just go and yeah go and, uh, great it. great job slide. Adrian great job mate just put a bit of, of the ultra across the front door because that goes underneath the skirtings but we'll put a bit on that front door there Sound. Check we got everything. So I'm going to get her now, shall I? Yeah, go and grab her. Yeah. Well, that's enough of my live video. I'm going to make a video that ain't live now. But shine on Adrian. Thank you very much for all your help. You're welcome. Shine Danny. on you, Diamond. God bless. Same. And that is Danny Sluggett Vision live from Boo's Community Kitchen to wherever you are. Have a great day, everybody. Because I've got so much to do, I can't even tell you about it because you know what it's like being being like us in Jaywick. We're very, very busy people. Have a great day, everybody. And shine on like the sun. Shine on.